Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the problem with uh, video playback and the voice cam. I mean, here I'm talking about the voice cam V2, but I think there's a problem which affects a lot of voice cams. Uh, when you want to play a video, let's say you got a notification that there was something, I mean, it has detected something in front of the camera in the cloud, it's there, and you want to go then and watch this video in the cloud. I mean, we have the free cloud, so it should be available there without doing any payment. And then it says, yeah, the video clip doesn't exist in the cloud or it is still being uploaded please try again later you will think okay maybe it's still uploading but uh, usually when you have this problem it's not only with new footage it's also with old footage when you go like to footage on this same camera when you go to footage which is two three four five six days old or even two weeks three weeks four weeks no no matter how old it is it's not available so there must be a problem it's not only that it's still uploading i mean these clips are so small usually it takes just a couple of seconds to upload so what's the problem how can we solve it how have other people been able to solve it so i'm going to show my solution and i'm going to show you some additional tips it looks like a lot of people are struggling with this problem so when i was clicking around the camera then after this error uh, what I found, it was saying a new firmware version is available. Please upgrade to the latest features. And uh, yeah, this is what I did, definitely. And of course, it's recommended to do that. It can solve a couple of issues. Then another thing which I did, I went to the settings and there's something which is called local storage. When you are in the settings of this camera, and you can click on format here and this is also what i did of course you have to make sure that you are not losing footage i mean everything which you have on the sd card will be lost so if you have something which you really need take out the sd card put it in your pc and then copy the things you should be able to watch the things and then put it back into the camera and only then do the format so here you see before the format it was just 1.2 gigabytes available after doing the formatting yeah everything is available so everything will be deleted uh, during the format then another thing uh, in the device settings what i have seen there's a restart device of course you can do that manually of course you can do the restart manually you can just unplug it from the usb power and then put it back on power but it's easier here so to click on restart and this is also what i did so so these three things i've done i've done the upgrade to the latest firmware i have been formatting the sd card and i have been rebooting the device and after that i waited for a little bit and then i was walking in front of the camera and then i've been checking about 10 minutes later in the cloud if the latest clip is there i mean by the way of course you have to check the signal strengths so if you have a really low signal strengths so that could mean that the upload speed to the cloud is very slow and it could take very long till things are uploaded but uh, here definitely it was not the problem and so after walking in front of the camera like say again maybe 10 minutes later i went to the cloud i mean uh, the, i got notification that there, were, there was something i clicked on the cloud on the playback and you can see it was playing nicely yeah i mean here that's the detection you can see that in the events it was even recognizing that it's a person there and when you click on that it should play took only a couple of minutes not days not weeks so the problem was not just that it takes long it was really something corrupted either firmware or on the sd card or whatever it was so for me it solved the issue but uh, i've heard about people uh, having still problems so i'm going to show you what other people have been doing uh, to solve it yeah when you go to device cam forum you can see there's a huge forum a lot of people are talking about exactly same problem and somebody was suggesting then to go to the account uh, app setting cache i mean in the app and uh, yeah clear the cache and this should then force the app to re-download 
uh, any alert videos you have been selecting and should play and somebody said yeah that worked for me thanks and somebody else said no it doesn't work then I found somebody saying yeah I ended up buying SD cards for both cameras but uh, like I said I can view the events from an iPad and so on but anyway yeah SD card is definitely helpful I mean I think you can run these things without an SD card but you cannot have then 24-7 uh, recording and uh, you just have the thing in the cloud and the problem is that it uploads only every five minutes a 10 seconds piece or clip of video and if there's something important between these uh, five minute gaps you will lose the footage it won't be anywhere so it is highly recommended to use an sd card anyway so you have uh, everything covered so here it's again about the app people are saying yeah make sure the device app is updated we have now uh, this and this version i mean yeah it's probably uh, old so there's maybe even a newer version out that uh, yeah that's always a good idea to make sure that you are on the latest version so again for me it was just the firmware update the sd card uh, reformatting and then rebooting and uh, yeah it helps me and i hope it will help you too so if you have any questions or comments or other uh, solutions please let us know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and learn new stuff and uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time